Hey everybody, in this video I'll be showing you a couple of things. One, what happens to your turmeric when it begins to die back. Now turmeric has a 6 month growing period and a 6 month dormancy period. And once it starts to look like this, it's basically time to harvest. Which isn't always very pleasant because you lose all of your lovely foliage. And to compensate for this, I'm planting some other things. And I'll be covering a particular type of soil amendment that I like to use and it's known as leaf mulch or leaf mold. Now this is Colocasia antiquorum or otherwise known as Edo's and the planting procedure is the same as for any. You're just loosening up the soil, getting rid of the weeds and finally passing it down and I'm going to be mulching it with the leaf mold. Now leaf mold is very easy to make. All I do is I get my leaves, I put them in a bag, I uh, poke some holes and I also just wet it down a bit and I wait pr pretty much a year. So after a year passes, you're going to have this lovely rich type of compost known as leaf mold. And really it's full of things such as fungi and actinomycetes that break down this organic material. It's the soil biology that breaks down that leaf litter that falls to the floor that provides all the nutrients for a plant to grow. Oh, and if you have chickens, they'll love this thing. Because of the way it breaks down, there's a lot of creepy crawlies in there, and they will just enjoy themselves. So one of the easiest ways to tell if your turmeric is ready to harvest is that you start to see all the rhizomes sticking out of the soil right at the top. So I'm just going to take two, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make golden milk. This guy keeps fossil bombing me, so he's probably going to become curry very soon if he keeps this up. Now, golden milk or turmeric milk is also known as saffron, and locally it's called hardy or karha, and traditionally it has been used as a medicine for women, particularly who might have problems with abdominal cramps, as well as a postnatal drink for women who have just given birth. But really, anyone can take it. It's an anti-inflammatory drink, and it tastes really good. So the recipe is very simple and I'll leave it in the description box below. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you give it a try. Enjoy!